What is going on, everybody? Dan Unfiltered, Unfiltered Wrestling. And uh, we had a, dare I say, good, good episode of Raw? As in, things happened? There really wasn't a segment that didn't matter? We kind of set up our road, our path to SummerSlam? What? What, what type of bizarro land am I living in that it was actually booked well and entertaining? It's been a while. It's been a while that Raw actually hit almost every mark. Now, there were some mistakes. There were some mistakes. Namely, the main event, which was Dolph Ziggler versus Drew McIntyre, for the WWE Championship. I have no problem with that. None. The problem comes. With them hyping up. Drew McIntyre. Pick, is He's now. Dolph picked a stipulation at Extreme Rules. Drew gets to pick it this time. What does he pick? TLC match right? Since that was the original booking. You know for Extreme Rules. They were going to do a TLC match. And it got leaked, so they canceled that. And they came up with some other bullshit. <laughs> a half a half Extreme Rules match. No, they don't do a TLC match. Cage? No. Hell in a Cell? No. F- no. Last Man? Nope. I Quit? Nope. I was even thinking I would like to see a hair versus hair match. I want to. Dolph needs to be repackaged. He can. He, this version of Dolph really can't go. That much farther. We've he's kind of done everything he can do as this version of Dolph. I was thinking maybe hair versus hair. He lose, he can shave his head and change his personality up a little bit. Nope. <sighs> Drew McIntyre just picks the Extreme Rules match, even though we just had Extreme Rules a week ago between the two same men. I get it. This time he gets to use weapons he couldn't last time. But so what? That's not exciting. It was kind of a letdown. Now the match itself was quite good. Quite good, actually. Maybe better than their Extreme Rules one. Like, this was actually a really good match. But come on. Why would he do that? Why would he just pick another Extreme Rules match? If we're being, like, realistic here. Why would he just pick that again? I I, I don't know. Pick, pick, pick something that we haven't seen them basically just do. But uh, it's a minor, a minor nitpick on what was a pretty stellar show overall. It starts off with Randy Orton, and this is what I was talking about. We're finally on the path. We flipped the page. We're on the road to SummerSlam. He says what we all knew. We've known for. About two months now, Randy Orton calls out Drew McIntyre for the WWE title at SummerSlam. I like it. This will be the biggest and most interesting match Drew McIntyre has had. To me, this feels bigger than Brock Lesnar at Mania. And relax, I know, I know. But it's because against Lesnar at Mania... We all knew he was going to win. We kind of knew it. I didn't want him to. I didn't think he was ready. He kind of came out of left field. This time, they've spent months building Drew McIntyre up to where me as a fan, as a viewer, I buy in. I believe in Drew McIntyre now. That's what they didn't do before WrestleMania. I buy in now. So him versus Randy Orton now feels like a big fight. Him versus Brock didn't. And it's because Drew didn't feel like he was ready yet. His momentum wasn't quite there yet. It is now. Oh, it definitely is now. He feels like a like one of the better WWE champions we've had in a while. He feels good. I love to see him versus Randy Orton. And the best part? At the moment, I don't know who's winning that. There are conflicting rumors all over the place. That they some are saying they want Randy Orton to win at SummerSlam and then carry it to the Royal Rumble or WrestleMania so Drew can get it back in front of a live audience. 
give him the actual coronation? Who knows? Who knows? Randy Orton might just be putting Drew over. Who knows? This is actually exciting. And this promo showed you what Randy Orton is when he's motivated. He's a top 10 all-timer. He's top 10. He's top 10. He's around where Shawn Michaels is. He's If, if Shawn is 6th, Randy's like 8th. It's close. And he seemed motivated. The last year, the man's been on fire. He's been fantastic. Way better than when he faced Jinder for goddamn Mahal. Way better. Way better. Way better. Way better. Fucking way better. Just, just had to put that out there. This is a, a whole new man. And he, I like, they, they, they did a little foreshadowing. A little foreshadowing. At the end of his promo, he told Drew McIntyre, I'm going to RKO you, you'll never see it coming. And at the end of the show, after the main event, again, we talked about Drew McIntyre beat Dolph Ziggler. And as he's lifting up his belt, RKO out of nowhere. And for some reason, my dumb ass didn't see it coming. I'm ashamed. I'm appalled. I'm disappointed in myself. I should have, I should have, like, he, he, he fucking told me. He told me he was going to do it. I was thinking, yeah, he's just talking shit about the pay-per-view. Nope. Happened at the end of the night. That's good stuff. That's brilliant. You got me. Normally, the Randy Orton RKO's out of nowhere. You can kind of just see happening. This one, it did kind of get me. I'll admit it. I'm an idiot. And then we had, it was kind of, I got mixed feelings here. The Viking Raiders versus Ricochet and Cedric Alexander, who need a goddamn name, versus Angel Garza and Andrade. The match was very good. Like, this was, this could have been, this is, it was borderline pay-per-view worthy. I almost rather see this. Like, why not just add the, the champions, the Street Profits, and make it a fatal four-way tag match at SummerSlam? All four teams really have momentum. All four teams could easily win that match and could be champions right now. They all seem worthy. They've been booked pretty correctly. Just put them all there instead of just picking one. But we had a number of contenders match. And the match was good, but... And the right team won. If we're going to just pick one of them, like, again, I would just have all three go against the Street Profits and have a fatal four-way. But if only one team can win... Garza and Andrade are the correct team to do it. The match at SummerSlam is going to be very good. And uh, I hope they stop this breakup thing. Like, I didn't really see too much hints at it this time. Hoping they drop that. I hope they drop that. They fit very well together, and we need goddamn tag teams. We only have four in on Raw. It's nice to have five or more on each show. We only have four. Don't break up. One of the better ones. Don't do it. But yeah, Garza and Andrade, they won. They are the number one contenders. Good stuff. Good stuff. A nice mix. You got the strength and the the the, 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 the Viking Raiders are very unique. It's, it's just odd. Every time I watch them, I'm kind of low-key surprised. You got the big man doing cartwheels and backflips. You got the big man... Or the smaller man picking up the big boy and dumping him. Like it, it's, it, it's 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 brilliant. Like it's very clever. I don't know which one of them in the when they were before they saw WWE thought of this, where the smaller guy is going to be the strong man and the bigger guy is going to be the agile man. Good thinking though. Smart stuff. Then we had. Uh, I'm not sure if this was necessary. But I guess they're setting up a feud between Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. As much as I, when I saw it, I was like, oh shit. It gave me that, ooh, oh shit feel. I want to see them fight. This looks good. This sounds great. They they also did it again. Like, they, they had a commercial break. And then there was a little match in between. And then they, Shayna and Nia Jax, were supposed to have an actual match. We knew it wasn't going to happen. Like, for what? Why would they do that? For what? Why would they do that? So, they obviously did not have a match. It got called out, called off. We had 
referees and security coming out. They got embarrassed and tossed around and choked out. One guy, they called him a WWE executive. Nia Jax tried to rip his shirt off, and it didn't come off. She couldn't really get it all the way over his big old head, and he couldn't get it off. So he's just kind of like crawling on the ground with a goddamn shirt on his head. That kind of looks stupid. And I hate when they beat up security. Because they're all like this big. They're very small men. Like that's who you hire to security? It's always like this. It's been like that since the Agile era. It just, it doesn't make Stone Cold or Nia Jax or Shayna Bazer look tougher or better for beating up Security. Like, it makes your security look like shit. That they're getting beat up 15 on 1. Just saying. Just saying. Just don't do it. No need. And your referees, what the f- that's not your ref's jobs. Why are they coming out to stop stuff? But they got to officiate the match. Not to stop random fucking fights. But I don't know where this feud is going. I don't know where it can go. They're both heels. So I'm not sure. But... I'm intrigued. WWE never does heel versus heel matches. So I really like that they're trying it. It's just kind of a... Kind of odd, if you know what I mean. Then uh, Dominic and Seth Rollins. Seth cut a little promo. And Seth has also been great this year as this Messiah character. The Jesus of, of Monday Night Raw. He's been good. He's been really good. The eyeball shit, I don't know why they're continuing it, and it looks like they're still keeping it up. I don't know why. What else can we do? He already did the fake, stupid eyeball thing with Rey Mysterio. What, are we going to do it again? Or is someone going to do it to him? Stop. Let's let's be finished with eyeball-related matches. Let's move on. Let's move on to something else. But him and Dominic are clearly... Looks like they're clearly going to fight at SummerSlam. And I don't hate it. I don't hate the idea, but I would have preferred Dominic join Seth Rollins. You know, he's still very raw in the ring. We're still kind of getting used to him. Why not have him join Seth? Like, I thought he should have turned on Rey Mysterio at Extreme Rules. That should have been the way that was booked. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. He actually didn't do shit. Dominic didn't do shit. So that's another reason. Why is Dominic pissed now? You were there at the pay-per-view. It was an eye eye for an eye match. Why didn't you help? You saw your dad's, your dad's eye popping out. You didn't help? You didn't do anything then? But now, on Raw, you're upset? It's wrestling. And as wrestling fans, uh, we're used to telling ourselves that when logic doesn't add up. It's it's wrestling. It's a damn shame we got to do that. But we do. We do. I do like where it's going, I guess. But it looks like it's going to be eye-related again. They had Buddy Murphy try to take out Aleister Black's eye at the end there. Which, again, I don't like that they're still doing the eye stuff. Move on. Let's move on, guys. Damn it. And I'm ready for Aleister Black to do something that matters. Face Seth. Face Seth. Don't face Buddy Murphy. We don't need that. Or Murph. Murphy. Whatever the hell you want to call him. We don't need that. Aleister Black, skip on to Seth Rollins at SummerSlam. And where's Kevin Owens? Where's Kevin Owens? He beat Buddy Murphy. So Aleister now just fights Murphy? And Owen just disappears? Yeah. Let's, let's, let's try to make it make sense. Then we had Mus- Mustafa Ali versus Bobby Lashley. Huh, that was alright. It's your typical muscle-bound man versus the high flyer. Muscle-bound man beats up the high flyer for 85% of the match. While the high flyer gets in a couple little bursts of offense. There you go. Muscle-bound man wins. Bobby Lashley wins, which was the correct choice, so I'm not mad at that. Just, I don't like, 
I, I don't, why did they give the belt to MVP? MVP's still carrying it, and they are making it known that he's not officially the United States champion, which is another problem. Why? Didn't maybe Shane or Stephanie say something about him being United States champion? He's not actually the U.S. Top champ. They had Stephanie say it last week about Oscar and Bailey or Oscar and Sasha, my bad. Do they not give a shit about the United States championship? Do they not care? Maybe not. Maybe not. But why? Do we? Do we care? Honestly? Eh? Yeah. The U.S. title hasn't been important since John Cena held it. it it's been a while. But yeah. Lashley wins. Cool. He's the only one of, the, of his group that doesn't have a belt. Shelton has one. If you want to call that a championship, I'm not gonna call it a championship. I'm gonna call it a belt. It's not a not a championship. The 24/7 green piece of shit. No, it's a belt, not a championship. Then MVP has another title. Like this is Bobby standing in the middle. Like, Bobby, you're not pissed about this? Are you not mad? I don't know. I'd be pissed. Just saying, I'd be pissed. We had Oscar versus Sasha, which I. Kind of looking forward to because they were their match at Extreme Rules was very good. The ending was was garbage, hot, hot garbage. This match didn't capture the same magic that the Extreme Rules match had. Didn't have that. Didn't have it. Missed something. Didn't have it. Not a bad match though. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. The ending again was kind of convoluted. It, 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 we still didn't get a fucking winner. So I'm guessing this feud is continuing. Again. More. I guess into SummerSlam. We're probably getting Sasha versus Asuka or some type of tag team involving Asuka. Something. Because it ends with Bailey popping up on the damn Titantron distracting Asuka while she, she's beating up her partner Kairi Sane. Which can that be considered clever? Kind of. Kind of. Because Stephanie said if DQ'd or anyone interferes, you lose, you lose. You lose the title. Asuka wins. But, isn't that still kind of interfering in a way? Not enough to be disqualified. But, it's, you, you, she got involved. She got involved. She's the reason Asuka lost. Asuka left the ring, got counted out to go help Kyrie Sane. That's... Bailey still got involved. So if I, I'm just saying, if this was a real sport, if the commissioner or owner or whatever you want to call them, the authority figure, Stephanie, your boss, tells you no one can interfere, no one can cause any reason, we need a straight up finish, and you do that, you still interfered. You changed the outcome. Just saying. Again, back to my previous statement. We just got to do this. It's wrestling. T. Fuck. <laughs> we just got to ignore it. We got to ignore it. I guess that's the finish. And also, that looks like that might be the end of Kyrie Sane in the WWE as a whole. That might be the last time we see her. It's a shame. It's a shame. I thought she, had, I thought she was really going places. But, you know, she's going back to Japan, it looks like. It's all good. Her contract's running out. Cool. <laughs> cool. And I'm, not, I'm not mad, but it's a waste. Humberto Carrillo versus Murphy. I always want to say buddy. Murphy without the buddy. Murphy wins. Who, who, who cares? Who gives a shit? I'm sorry, Humberto, but no one cares about you, man. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. I we Angel Garza's way better than you. He's got an it factor about him. Andrade's better than you. And I'm just comparing him to them because it's similar gimmicks. Vince just gives him the Spanish gimmick. And uh, Umberto, he's just he's a good wrestler. But that's about it. He's a good wrestler. Yeah. No thank you. He lost, which is good for Murphy. It's nice when a le- when it's not the leader of a faction and they're still winning matches. You know what I mean? 
like back in the day, it was nice to see X Pac win a singles match from time to time when he was a member of DX. Made the group look good. When you have your sidekicks losing all the time, you look kind of like garbage. You look like garbage. So it was kind of nice to see him win. Murphy's a great wrestler. Good Lord. Great wrestler. In the main event was Drew McIntyre, Dolph Ziggler. Talked about it. Good match. Good match. Some good spots. I love the ending. Oh, man. Let's talk about that ending. I've watched wrestling for about 25 years. I've seen a lot of table spots. A whole lot. A whole lot. Like you, you, There's almost none you haven't seen yet. You've seen them all. This one I don't know if I remember ever seeing. Dolph Ziggler grabs it, bends over, grabs a chair, turns around and gets Claymore kicked, but as he gets kicked, he flies backwards through a table that was set up. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Sheamus has been doing the bro kick for fucking a decade. I don't think I've ever seen him bro kick someone through a table. I thought that was pretty damn cool. That was pretty damn sweet. Love the finish. Match was good. Dolph, just doing what Dolph does. Selling all over the place. Making Drew look like a million bucks. I just wish it wasn't an extreme rule match. And for Christ's sake, hopefully Dolph Ziggler isn't just going to fall into obscurity, into the black hole that is WWE's bottom of the mid card. Hopefully he can start a feud with somebody that matters. I don't know. I mean, who, who do we have on Raw that's actually in the building, not at home hiding from the virus? Maybe is Kevin Owens on Raw? It's hard. I don't remember. I think he is. Can we do Kevin Owens versus Dolph? Maybe? Can Dolph join the uh, Seth Rollins' disciples? Maybe? I just want him to stay relevant. He's done very well. And he's 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 great to watch. He is. He makes watching a wrestling match easy on the eyes. Because he sells beautifully. There's never like a cringe-worthy, oh God, moment. <laughs> Dolph does really well. Let me know what you guys thought of this Raw. I give it... I give it a solid B plus. I think it flowed like this. It it was still three fucking hours, but it felt like two. God, that's sad that we're giving that bonus points. That it feels like two hours, but it did. It felt like the time kind of went smoothly. Everything mattered except for Buddy Murphy and Humberto. <laughs> Everything else fucking mattered. So. I'll take it. I'll give it a good grade. I enjoyed it. Main event was good. Yeah. I just thought it was underwhelming that they fucking chose that. I still can't believe it. Extreme Rules just passes. Let's do another Extreme Rules match. Who approved that? I don't know. But let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section. Hit the like button. Subscribe. And if you are still here, you are a real one. News coming soon. More news coming soon.